Hello there, and welcome to Fortnite Save the World. I'm Salty Gamer Manboy, and in this video, we are continuing to go through the collection book, and we are on Sentinel Hype today. So let's uh, let's look at this. Let's see, I've already. Um, yep, Sentinel Hype is the next one in line. So let's just take a look at her. Uh, legendary card here okay at level one we have creative engineering increased building speed by 10% reduce building cost by 10% and still at level one and the ability bar is deca uh, decoy <laughs> decay <laughs> it seems like it's a decay okay it's a decoy all right cost uh, 30 energy cooldown 30 seconds deploys a decoy acronym which will distract all husks it says all but it doesn't i know it doesn't the, the mist monsters or anything um will distract all husks uh husk enemies within a 1.5 tile radius for seven seconds okay uh at level two she has base acronym cost 100 energy cool down four seconds the base acronym alters the matter of connected building pieces. Effect, affected walls will do energy damage to any enemy that strikes the wall with a melee attack. Uh, okay, so whenever they attack the wall, it's going to give them damage, if not kill them. Um, okay, attack structures gain 12% damage resistance. Extends three segments of... Uh, f extends three segments from placement only base acronym can be activated only one base acronym can be active at a time so one at a time guys you can't put double on there and think that it's going to give double coverage it's not going to do it um let's see you're coming with me at level five increased decoy energy uh increased decoy enemy attracted radius by 1.5 tiles so it's going to increase when you get to level five when you get to level eight it says grease the wheels reduces the cooldown for decoy acronym by 10 seconds okay at level 10 you have on your ability bar the plasma pulse okay costs 40 energy cooldown 45 seconds damage 2255.8 plasma energy damage deploys a device which emits exploding plasma pulse every 0.125 seconds for six seconds okay at uh, level 12 we have uh, one hot minute reduces the cooldown for pl uh, for plasma pulse by 20 seconds so it's gonna come back a lot faster the charge okay at level 15 going 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 and going uh, decoy last for two seconds longer okay so it's gonna the decoy is gonna last a little bit longer um okay so it looks like she's kind of got like plasma and uh decoy things so what you want to do is throw down a, a decoy and then throw down a plasma uh right next to it okay um power pulse increases damage of plasma pulse by 20 percent at level 20 we have kinetic overload okay cool down by 0.25 seconds damage uh, 11,278.8 energy damage damage type is considered plasma as well as energy okay so it's energy and plasma okay uh, critical hits with hardware melee weapons trigger a kinetic overload dealing additional damage and knockback to the target so whenever they hit that it's gonna um, knock them back or kill them if it doesn't kill them it's gonna debilitate them make them dizzy okay get ready for a surprise decoy explodes when it is destroyed or expires so it's gonna automatic uh, automatically just dis just destroy okay um, plasma over overdrive Okay, increases the rate of plasma pulse explosion by 33%. Okay, so she uses uh, decoy to 
uh, group enemies together and plasma pulse to melt those groups down. All right, let's see what she brings to the table. She is a hot fixer. Increased building repair rate by 10%. Support bonuses are uh, applied to your primary hero when your primary hero when hero is in your support slot. So she's gonna um, increase building repair rate by 10% if you have another construction or, or you know just any building in general so all right so that's a look at her let's see if we can pair her up with a good good team here now that we know what she's capable of she's got already an explosion so we don't we probably don't need to have that uh, like I have it set up already let's see Let's do the loadout, all right? Because he, uh, when the decoy destroys, it expires uh, or expires, creates an explosion that deals impact. I don't know if that's going to stack on each other or not. I probably I, the way things are in this game, I don't think they stack. Sometimes, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Um, but just to be on the safe side, I feel like giving her something else. Maybe give her survivalist. Yeah, I think I will. I'll just give her survivalist, and then on this one right here, we got uh, hit them while they're down, 24% uh, damage to stunned targets and knocked uh, down targets. Support uh, bonuses are applied to your primary hero. So I, I got something for the uh, the plasma, um, and then I got uh, something for her for health. So just depends on how you want to play. I mean, you know. And also, too, if they stack or not. I don't know. Uh, I haven't played her enough to know that if uh, um, if it's going to stack or not. We could we can always do that in another video, too, as well. But anyway, we are going to go with that, that set up there. And like uh, in the last video, we're going to do something different. I'm not going to go to some super high level. Um, because for some reason, it is... Um, it's uh it's putting me down to a low level anyway so okay gosh what intros do these things are getting longer and longer dude go ahead and throw these walls up here So in this build, I'm going to make it uh, a really big build. Because this is going to be about standard, or maybe maybe not so standard. That's that It is too. Okay. It's a two. Two by two. that dumb junk what a junky thing they really need to stop that that's just absolute garbage I don't know who thought oh gee it's gonna be such a great idea to have random encounters yep
Uh, let's see. Man. Yeah, I need to put her in there. Her right there. That one goes so far over. Okay, covers that pretty well. At least it's somewhat decent. Okay, let's try a, a uh, Three by three. Because this is going to be like for your um, repair the shelters. Okay, so this is a, uh, a three by three, and it's basically going to be like your biggest objective that you have to cover. So we're going to see how much it actually covers. And then you can go from there. You can, you can kind of base yourself on uh, what needs to happen. I don't know why they're helicopters running around right now, but anyway. Okay. Alright. And those pieces aren't covered. Okay, so can kind of get an idea. It gets that first, uh, the, the, the second story all covered, and then there's one piece down here. And it looks like the same way all around. If they would stop messing around with me like that, because that's absolutely garbage. Here, come here, garbage. Alright. <laughs> Okay, so that's what that looks like right there. That's what her building uh, coverage is. If you want to put it on top, um, it would protect from a lot of the bombardments and stuff like that. You're not going to be able to get inside here because if you're doing a repair of the shelter, you know that the objective is right all up in this area right here. So there's no way you can. And there's no way you can make a. Uh, it's a roof over it that low you have to go two stories with that so that's her coverage right there her coverage is not very much you can um, if you wanted to um, do like I've I've got over here uh, with the main objective to put it on the corner so let's move over here to this other main objective right here okay this is a uh, retrieve the data. It's perfect for it because it's a two by two. And what we're going to do is we're going to put our. Spotted. Let's see here. I don't know why it's not letting me. Okay. Oh, it's because her thing is there. Okay. So, two by two. If you put. Okay. Um. If you put her thing right here, should cover quite a bit of it. It's got this side over there too. Um, usually with the, the lesser constructors, um, I put their their base on the corner. See that right there is not covered. Um, but that's your, you know, that would be maybe, maybe like your main sides perhaps. Um, use, you know, just play around with it a little bit here. Like, uh, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna move it over one, one tile space and then see what happens there. Because I want, uh, I mean, nobody's really gonna be attacking this side right here. So, 
we need to have at least this side right here and then this side over here a little bit covered no but I don't really see too much going on on that side right there either so your main sides basically gonna be right there that's you know that's if this is the only constructor in your team if you have other constructors use another constructor um, to uh, fortify your main objective this is plenty enough even for a, a single one like if you do a one by one this is plenty enough uh, coverage for that it's not however going to be good for a um, repair the shelter or evacuate the shelter um, those are not going to be good you might possibly be able to use her pretty well in a uh, deliver the bomb that's what I would suggest doing look at this okay we're gonna get these guys all here let's see what do I need uh, I need that guy right there we're gonna watch him and look at their power bars and then we're gonna put the RB out so the explosion got him too so that was awesome why okay well he's just right outside of the the, the range area there okay not bad not bad at all this match here so let's uh nope why is that there okay and then we're gonna put a okay pretty nice pretty, works pretty well clearing everything out let's get rid of that dude don't want the shield shield buggers okay let's see put that there look they're all good they're all attracted to it and then it blew up okay so you don't really need to have that right next to each other it's going to blow up, so you can have kind of like a uh, an alternating thing. And it came back quick. Look at, how, look at the uh, return rate on that. That's pretty good. Another file. Okay. And then I'm already ready for another. Look at that. Look at that. The she's got a really good uh, attack dummy there. That is really good. Look at that return rate. I'm already I'm already set up for another one. Sorry. So now my review of her. She's okay. She's an okay constructor. Um, I know that if uh, if I would have shown you them beating on the structure. The, it would have killed them just like the last one because that's what it says it does and I've seen it happen before but anyway so we didn't really need to see the base I suppose um, unless you want to see that um, and if you do want to see it uh, check out my other uh, video I had uh, power base Knox um, he's perfect example he's he's probably the best one that I've come across other than um, mega base Kyle but anyway, um, Plasma was awesome. The uh, the attack dummies were awesome. So yeah, if you if you have her, if you want her, you know she's definitely a good character to get. Um, just out of maybe variety, perhaps. Uh, <laughs> you know, just that way you're not having the same constructor or some. You know, if someone else has, you know, they're wearing the same thing that you're wearing. You don't have to wear that. You can you can use her. You know, if there's another constructor in your team and you know that they're not changing, um, you, you know, you could probably change out to her um, and she would be uh, just as effective. But anyway, I think she's a great con uh, constructor um, and definitely worth collecting So uh, and using. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.